Barney is the new main character of Half-Life, and we're just splitting, we're just forking the narrative now. Dude, if you were walking down an alley and you saw Barney come out with a crowbar, you'd go the other way. Welcome back to another Linux Gamecast Weekly. The show covers the latest Linux gaming news, reviews, how-tos, and most importantly, whatever the hell else we come up with, you're back. Your risen from the dead, Jordan, has returned. Brains. I mean, French Canada, the... <laughs> Le brains. <laughs> brains le. <laughs> Donne moi brains. I'm Vince Stone. That is Jordan Zwang. And of course, Pedro Mateus. Together with you, Shot Realm Dynamic on all the places this week that I could think of anyway, helping us form Cocaine Voltron. Uh, what's new? Anything exciting going on? You're, you're back. Tell us about your adventures at. Um, uh, space Canada, I guess. Space, right? space French Canada. Well, you know, I, I went, I went east ways on the one road in Canada because there's only one road just, in Canada. Just the one. To, to the best Canada in the land, I might add. <laughs> um, and if you lived there for a day, you'd understand. Uh, no, it was, it was, it was good. We, uh, we took a three day trip to Montreal. We saw some sites. I, we went to an art gallery where I saw something called greased cone, and it is a giant cone on the ground that is greased. I posted a bunch of the photos in Discord. Um. This this was a week ago. I didn't have it. I don't have any of them ready right now. But yeah, uh, the Gre Grease Cone was was probably the uh, the the highlight of the art trip because it was just a giant cone covered in grease in the middle of the floor. Did did it have like a little placard at the bottom? Like, did you expect? No, it was <laughs> it was on the wall. Like, I I was looking for like what the fuck is the deal with this greased cone? And then like on the wall uh, when you turn the corner, it's there. It's like greased cone, mixed media. I'm like. <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah, sure. sure. Right. Why, why not? Um, yeah, we, uh, we 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 ate a bunch of good food. Um, it, was, it, was, it, was, it was fun. It was, I, I, need, I needed the vacation. It was, it was, it was good. Uh, How about you, good. Pedro Mateus? Anything new? Uh, no. Oh. <laughs> oh. Particularly, my, my, my life has been fairly uneventful. It's just been work, 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 and work. Uh, I did uh, start playing Fallout 76. Uh, uh, there's that. That God, that's a bad game. game. <laughs> My little brother decided to uh, inflict that upon me because it was on sale. But uh, no, that that is a bad game. Although I will say I like one thing. It is more Fallout adjacent world for me to explore. And the exploration is just like any old Bethesda game. The exploration is pretty good. Everything else is shit. Mm. But the exploration is pretty good. You had one more thing, Jordan. Yes, I had one more thing. I got a little bit of a mouse problem. Like, Rodan's ro getting into the house so Oh, much. that kind of mouse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, depending yeah. on the show, you got to think about it, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes. this is, that, that, that's fair. So I found, so th this, this, is, this is just dumb, because apparently the, the mice in my house have gotten suicidal. Because this is the second time one has gotten into the fridge and broke it. The first time they chewed through a wire. The second time, and this is the stupidest fucking thing is somehow there's like the compressor fan it managed to block the fan and then died it got <laughs> stuck in there and the fucking compressor overheated we got the repair guy in. it's like he plugged it in the starts up yeah but it's still something wrong it's like oh a, a mouse like full ass wedged its way and like you know you, you've, you've seen a fan go you like put your finger in and you go Z -Z -Z -Z. this mouse in its fucking infinite wisdom Decided, I'm gonna fucking bull rush this fan. I can get through. I can do this. Hold my beer. I mean, we've <laughs> we've all been on that level. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's like I, I can I can fucking do this. Yeah, I can I can time that. It, yeah, no, that, no, didn't work out. Yeah, so uh, that 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 happened before we left for Montreal. We came back to a very smelly refrigerator. Oh man, can can you get like a replacement fans with sharper blades? Yeah, kind of right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you gotta go to the sharp image. <laughs> right. I repaired my chair, man, for like the past three or four weeks. Uh, this beautiful chair I, that I have, it's uh, been sinking. The shock just didn't go. It's got a little gas shock, you know, like most standard computer chairs do, And but it was annoying. It, it wasn't like, it was like two days later, you're like, wait a minute, I'm a little bit lower. Mm, raise it back up. Just, just enough. Turns out, I was just going to like stick vice grips on it, man. I'm like, get done. You can buy shock replacement kits. They're like 20 bucks, man. They come with like a nice little ingenious metal ring that you can put around the top and like screw it in, pull the shock out, pop a shock back in, and you're done. Hmm. It felt very handy. Yeah. 
Oh, yeah, no, it's like, look at that. That's a lot cheaper than getting a chair. So if you are on the lookout for a shock replacement therapy, <laughs> there you go. You can do it in your car, too. You ever try to replace the shocks in the horse? <laughs> no, I, the, the, you know, I, I like my bumpy ride on the horse. It really gives me a good case of testicular torsion. It's the steam. And no, you can't say that. That's not productive, and you're not offering any solutions, so you're going to get banned. Banhammer 40k? <laughs> yes. Well, not 40k, just Banhammer. Uh, uh, ban Total Banhammer War Fantasy. Yeah. Yeah. Total Warhammer 3, because that's what it should be called. Uh, well, the, the, they kind of uh, kicked up a, vi a bit of a fuss in the way that they tried to address some of the things that have been happening on their Steam forums. Uh, and Creative Assembly, the people behind it, uh, made a, let's call it a grandstanding post, effectively declaring the end of free speech, as it were. Uh, and people didn't take that very well. <laughs> that, that, yeah, it all started with the price of the DLC, uh, but it very much escalated from that because, according to them, it was, uh, people just were in the forums to be disruptive and, uh, they weren't offering any, uh, solutions at which point I'm, I have to ask, okay, these people are not game developers. You're the game developers. So if you're going to actively punish your community when they're, they have legitimate critique of your thing, but they can't offer a solution because, Hey, guess what? They, they're not developers. That's Pedro, not a I good have a challenge idea. for you for next week. I want mm -hmm. you to work in the worm or doom saying into a work email. <laughs> I, I don't want to be a do doom saying or anything. <laughs> yeah. But if you don't if you don't get these things filed, I will kill you. <laughs> the doom, doom saying is too metal of a word to be used in a bad way, man. I'm sorry. We get you gotta work something out better than that. Well, so, yeah. Well, you know, you know, Creative Assembly, they may they consider reconsidered a bit of their word choices because, you know, the, the news post contains the phrase, you know, um, uh, construct feedback is a is a privilege, not a right, um, mm -hmm. or, or something to that effect. Uh, people didn't take too kindly to that, so they have uh, they put up a new post that retracted some of those statements, walked something back, and so here here's the thing: people get spicy on the internet. I can absolutely, especially Warhammer fans, I can believe that maybe they got a little too spicy for the developers, and they're just being. Uh, unconscionable, encourageable scumbags as people on the internet do. So I went back into the forums and it's, 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 I couldn't find anything too horrible. I mean, it's st standard Steam forum direct, but nothing, I couldn't find, I personally couldn't find anything awful. It doesn't mean that it's not there. Um, They've it, been it, it, deleting it, them. Yeah, it, it really, it, yeah it, it really, it really does seem, at, at, at least from the outset as, as an observer uh, and based uh, that this was, this was a bit heavy handed. There were a bunch of posts in the forums that are like, yo, people are getting a little too crazy. So there may have been a bit of, um, there may have been a, been a bit of truth to this, but at the same time, the, a lot of the chief complaints are the DLC is too expensive and it runs like shit. Mm -hmm. And when, and you know, when you're saying don't, you're not offering constructive criticisms, it's like test your game and don't charge as much. Like that's what, what, what other, what other constructive criticism can you really realistically offer as a, as an end user? No, no, that, that, that falls under, um, doom saying. Mm. Yes. <laughs> doom! Yeah, no, spreading misinformation, doom call for boycotts. Uh, so yeah, of course the game right now is being massively, uh, negatively reviewed on seems being review bombed, obviously, because, Hey, <laughs> if you're on the internet and you're, actively attempting to restrict people's ability to bitch that's not gonna go well and, no no, uh, no no i mean coming out and like if you're having some problems you release some bad dlc you get you know a new skin pack and it's running bad the, the best way to make sure that you stop any of those negative reviews is to remind everybody that they'll get uh banned <laughs> if they keep mentioning the problem yeah, doubling down on it, it, it never goes well. <laughs> like the the frightening thing to me, and I, I the, the scenario of like that idea of making it all the way to getting posted. There's a problem with whoever is in that chain right there. Like that entire chain's fucked business wise. Like that should have never made it to the Steam floor and got cleared by everyone. Like yeah, that's great. Post that. That's a no. no. Yeah, the, 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 the people people will 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 rationally and calmly react to our plea for sanity, 
Yeah, no, 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 no. That's not, that's not how the shit works. No, 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 no. I will ban your ass. Yeah. <sighs> Who won't somebody, uses... won't somebody please think of the, the creative assembly people? Please. I know, right? Oh, they, they got money to make. Be nice to them. So, uh, <laughs> game trainers. You ever used a trainer? I've never used a game trainer. I know what it's it is. It's been years. I remember using one uh, to work around the bug. Mm. Uh, I can't remember the name of the game. It was like Resident Evil style, like fixed camera angle type of situation. But the save game wouldn't work. So uh, the, what the trainer did was it allowed you to save anywhere. So I just used it to save. And there we go. <laughs> now, this is where I normally see trainers in action. Is when, especially as of late, I've been watching people uh, hack apart uh, Liza P. Mm. And they use them for speed running. It's a very common thing. Ta- like ta- uh, tasks, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, not tools, just uh, no, or e- even just to like find find exploits that they can that they can use or whatever, yeah, or like save states anywhere mm. they want, or if they want to have like certain things saved. Okay, okay, that makes sense. And uh, trainers under Linux have never really been a thing, but Lala wants to change that a little bit. This is free. This is cross platform, so that's pretty dope right there all by itself um trader and launcher not just for like some random wine prefix and all that uh this works with your steam games in fact that's all it works on right now it works with windows linux and of course steam because steam is not linux somehow i don't know shrug emoji all of the trainers have been sourced from fling trainers which is good and there's also a smattering of some open source trainer stuff in there it does rely on proton to run so that's when that's your steam requirement but both of you will be happy to know if you want to get into that training lifestyle. That's got an app image, so you can run it on your Steam Deck. Yep. Nice. I thought that, that that's was... very good. <laughs> yeah, look at it. it looks, and they have screenshots on their GitHub page. <laughs> that 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 looks like a library of games. Absolutely. Yeah. No. Uh, the thing you know, uh, because this is technically cheating, so don't be. Oh, uh, we'll, we'll, that we'll, get, we'll get to that. Well, get to that in don't, a little don't bit. Don't be here, that here person on multiplayer police. video games. <laughs> oh, oh, hold, hold on. We can't train nudity to our games. <laughs> I mean, we, you, you can for Cyberpunk, but that's, that's just you can. Cyberpunk. Yeah, that's already built in. But yeah, the, the one here is uh, they, they have Elden Ring in one of the screenshots. Like, okay, if you're going to use it with Elden Ring, don't go online. Don't, don't be that person, the cheaty person that goes into other people's games while you're being a cheaty little bitch. No one likes that. So, yeah, if you want, again, if you're single player and you're just having fun and making your own fun with the tool assistance, go nuts. That's great. I, I, just stay I mean, out of the go- multiplayer lobby. This, this, this goes without saying. <laughs> if you fuck around, you're going to get back banned or EAC banned real quick. Like, Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> so they, they do a good point. I mean, maybe that should be in big, you know, never... Never yeah. underestimate stupidity, right? Um, yeah, B- big, big warning letters, big block letters, right? Don't try to play this shit online. You will get banned. But even if you want, you know, something as innocuous as having, you know, for like you want to do some speed running under Linux and you want those safe states and all the uh, other things that you can get with a trainer, it's just infinite lives. I ran into that issue earlier this week and I would love something like this because I made the mistake of playing the original Alan Wake game and like an hour into it, I'm like, dude, I just want to get the story dumps this is the monotony of trying to fight in that game the same three characters over and over and uh, fortunately there was a developer flag to do that with the game itself um but i would have been very glad to be able to find something like this like hey just give me infinite health yeah. and maybe bananas i don't know <laughs> and yes. there are people who like they, the game may be too difficult for them for whatever reason and they just want to enjoy the game. They want to sit down and play because they want to see the story. They want to see story, this. Right. How many times they actually have you been want there to experience like, it themselves? Or so, or Pedro, or, or, or Pedro. Or, yeah. Just let me get past this motherfucker. Or <laughs> yeah, or just even even <laughs> even even for save states, there are a lot of games that have a bullshit save system, and being able to just bypass that and not not have to deal with that is is great, right? No, you le- know, letting people enjoy every game is a good thing, which is why the argument of like easy mode and Dark Souls being ah, oh, it's uh, an affront to the game designer's vision or something like that's bullshit. If yeah, you yeah, like but, the game, why wouldn't you want more people to be able to also enjoy the game in their yeah, own they're, they're, way? But they, it's the same game still. 
<laughs> yeah, there's there's this thing called death of the author that says you know once once it's in the public, I can fucking I can do whatever I want with it in my, yeah. with my copy, right? Are, like, you, are you seriously trying to get Nintendo to show up? <laughs> yes, I I, I I I want Iwata to give me a hug. He still works there, right? I want Satan to give me a hug. Well, uh, you're 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 gonna the best you can do is have him fake a ankle injury from a from from a minor graze as as he rolls around on the field. This is soccer with Satan. <laughs> Uh, they had to go with Satan because Sepp Blatter was too evil to put in a game. Uh, it's a uh, let's say one v one soccer uh, type game where you either try to win via the regular rules of soccer, or you can kill your other oppo- you can kill your opponent's team and win that way. Uh, kind of reminds me of like a purely PVE pyre uh, if you remember that game from Super Giant, where it's like the soccer volleyball RPG thing. Um, but yeah. Uh, it has online multiplayer, which is nice. I kind of wish though that you could have, but it is one v one though. I kind of wish you could have like three v three or something like that. But I, I, I get they want to limit the scope of the game. Uh, it is a MOBA. It's a soccer MOBA. Yeah, it's very much a click for the character to move and select another character and go ahead. Yeah, it's, it's- hey nine ninety nine. It's evil when it does handstands. Nice. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Eleven forty nine Canadian. Re- reasonably priced. Again, ha- has online PvP, which is you know. In, 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 in Increase all, the player we're almost, count. Two v two. We're all like we're almost in twenty twenty four, guys. Like, can, can 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 we just like make online co op just a thing? I, I am online. glad. To, yeah. Listen, I'm glad to see the online just there. Like, let me place the goal. I'm easy to please. What do we need? Uh, uh, we I need uh, yes distribution of Linux. So OS yes. <laughs> oh. six, six, six megabytes of storage. Nice. <laughs> you know what? They get bonus points if they actually nailed that to the byte. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, we, we, we can't release this patch until we can figure out a way to compress it back down to 666. I think it's the uh, minimum requirements there that you're supposed to take seriously. <laughs> well, you, 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 Do you don't want to cross it in my other dreams, Pedro? I mean. <laughs> Can you try running it on Look, BIOS they, they and, and see BS what happens? For the distribution, so... <laughs> so, this next game, um, we talked about last year during i think uh one of the steam the, next fest yes it is the brand new shooter that um is done in gz doom gz doom which you know mm-hmm. honestly in in 2023 2024 not the worst choice for an engine for making a game in these days in mean, your first thoughts like that doesn't look like yeah it's, it, 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 it's that's gz doom is it all right okay it, yeah <laughs> it's it, it, it's it's open source like yeah it, it, it's it's a little choppy it's 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 got that it's got that uh anime uh, t- uh, cinematic quality to it the 24 frames a second quality um but it purports to be an act- intense action set piece uh, story driven shooter they're real proud of their enemy ai they're saying like it will like try to fish you out with grenades it will react to um the tactics that you use that's heavily inspired by f-e-a-r um yeah and i mean it, like for for gz doom it looks fucking sick if you're if you're watching the video version like damn i don't <laughs> I don't, I don't think anyone back then thought a game could look this good in, in the Doom engine. Uh, anyone back then wouldn't have been able to run this because this is the one thing I remembered about this was like saying when I originally played it, like somehow they made GZ Doom like have performance issues on a 3060. To be fair, the Doom engine wasn't meant to, you know, have <laughs> those many sprites and to, 3D models on screen, voxels it's as still, they were. It's like, to be fair, it's st- it is still all software rendered, so. <laughs> but yeah, it is, it looks amazing. This is one of the uh, boomer shooters that I'm very much looking forward to when it finally does come out. And seriously, that's GZ Doom, is it? All right. Okay. Yeah. I'll, well, you know, like any other GZ Doom thing, man, an SSD is highly recommended. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. I I kind of like this trend of of game devs going back to older engines, like the build engine. Like, I, I would love to see some more like people take cracks at like Infinity Engine style games because that has an open source version of it. Uh, but like, yeah, there there are a lot of old engines out that still have like tools that you can use to make new games and they're they're perfectly fine they're not like the best looking things on the planet mm-hmm. but if you can put together a decent game with like a fairly well vetted framework why not i'm yeah. always curious like when you bring something like that up like what are the level editors like because i was building maps way back then you know in like duke nukem 3d with build engine and um later on like quake is where i like checked out because that mm-hmm. you had to carve maps in that original quake editor and it took me forever to figure that out uh i want to see what the tooling's like because something i'm always fascinated with seeing is what does what's the modern take on game dev for 
like a Game Boy game mm. or a NES game. That, I'll get sucked right into any of those YouTube videos. Like, what does a development environment look like for a Game yeah. Boy in 2023? They have those drag and drop game editors for Game Boy that can like export to Game Boy, which is dope as hell. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. Linux oh. and Steam Deck users can no longer play the game anymore. Yeah, Pedro. well, <laughs> one of the major no, games, the game. Apex Legends. Yes, it was perhaps one of the first, or uh, I think it was the second uh, game from EA to actually allow Linux users to play their easy anti cheat enabled game, and everyone was real happy about that until about a couple of days ago, four days ago, uh, that uh, this post showed up on Reddit uh, where all Linux. Uh, and Steam Deck users can't play the game anymore. Apparently, if you go into a match, 30 seconds later, you're booted out because it doesn't see the anti-cheat as running. And then comes the thing that I just didn't expect, which is a Trello board for an EA game. What kind of fucked up timeline are we exactly? Uh, well, but... well, what's even more <laughs> fucked up is that label, fix in progress. And right? like, yeah. so they're they're working on it, and hopefully that solution is won't fix. But like... They're, they're at least trying to solve it, and they're not actively betting people, which is what Ben was highlighting there earlier. Which, again, of all the shitty AAA publishers, EA would not be the one that I expected to be as... EA, EA's the fucking wild card these days, yeah. man. Like, <laughs> they're, they're, like, they're all over the place. They'll be like, here's some shitty fucking moves, but here's some cool moves, but here's some more shitty moves, but here, here's some cool shit, open source, but... Here's yeah, one of the interesting things, though. I mean, I... I I expect them to, okay, when we talked about this a couple of, like, three or four weeks ago, that was like, okay, they're going to be switching over to this new um, system, and it's going to have problems, probably going to have problems if they switched Apex Legends over to it, and everyone was like, yeah, probably is. Here it is. Like, no, no one did not see this coming, mm -hmm. but I said it then, like, EA was, like, out in front with Apex Legends. Remember, like, there was a promotional thing, like, hey, we got this working on your Steam Deck, and it's working mm -hmm. with your Linux, and, like, it was, there was a PR campaign around that so i'm not surprised it's in progress i'm surprised it got to the point where it had to be in progress well <laughs> i i think i think the steam deck has done like a great thing in terms of like putting putting a linux pc out in the forefront so that when so that when there's like incompatibility issues like mm -hmm. there's a user base now that is affected who like paid for a product and there, there's there's and pressure you, see... you can apply on ea that way yeah, and you see from like the Steam Deck reviews, the original ones that came out up to now, where the at first they complain, oh, the software is shit, the software is shit, it should be running Windows, the software is shit. And now that you have the ROG Ally and you have the Lenovo uh, Legion, Legion Go or whatever it's yeah. called, uh, and you have people complaining to say, well, yeah, the Steam Deck still has the advantage in the software because it runs so much better. It's like, oh! How, <laughs> how the turntables? <laughs> yeah, how the, how the turns of tables. <laughs> but I mean, fuck it's... Linux, am I right, guys? Come on. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, you, you gotta use you gotta use Solaris. That's that's the one true way to go mm -hmm. about it. Or I guess I guess it's Lu Luminos now is is the new one. Illumos. You might have just given me the one reason to buy a Steam Deck <laughs> to see if I get an x86 build of Solaris I've been running on. Yeah, maybe. Hmm. Mm -hmm. You're not, you're not well, get someone got working. Haiku running on the Steam Deck, so there's that. Oracle, uh, call me. Did you see the uh, thing I posted in our Discord earlier today? Somebody put one of those, um, what was it, 80 terabyte uh, SSDs in their Steam Deck? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah the, the shit, that, fixing the shader cache problem yeah, forever. Right? You don't have to worry about it. 62, yeah. Yeah, 62 terabytes of uh, enterprise grade SSD, let's go. <laughs> All the shaders compiled and yep. ready to go right there. <laughs> no. Gone be the birds if they don't want to sing. Saw a bird. Well, <laughs> it was, it was pretty. pretty. Kick it ass. <laughs> Why don't uh, we have a TV? <laughs> but yes, no. Very much gone be the birds if they don't want to sing. That's your um, Jack Johnson reference for the evening. Uh, Counter Strike 2 had birds in some of the maps, and uh, people were kept confusing them for grenades. <laughs> and they thought, "Oh shit, that's a flashbang!" And they turned around, and then they waited for the flash that never came. And then they turned back, and they see, "Oh wait, that's a bird!" Right. So, 
What, what, when, cool. I, when I explained this to Lonnie earlier today, she she took that the other way around, that people were throwing chickens at other people instead of <laughs> instead of grenades. <laughs> it's, a little, it's a little ambiguously worded there, but... Yeah, no, that, that, that would have totally been better, but no, they've now removed the words to stop that confusion because apparently enough people complained. Uh, but at the same time, you know, Valve taketh away, but Valve, well, giveth back. Because the workshop integration is now back in Counter Strike 2, they had to disable it for the move to Source 2, obviously. But now it's back, so the community maps may very well end up with more feathery friends. We don't know. They're, they uh, also add a change in this latest version of CS2. Uh, they made knives a little uh, a little more picky. So when you're throwing knives at people, you will less, be less likely to accidentally stab your friend, as they will attempt to seek the, in preference to the to the enemy characters instead of friendly characters. So if you still stab your your buddy just randomly, that'll still hit him. But if he's like in a melee or whatever with some other dude and you throw the knife, uh, it will be less likely to hit your friend. So that that's always good. Don't stab your friends or do. I don't, I'm not. Your I, I think there's a compromise to be had here. Stab your friend with a chicken. Give the birds <laughs> knives. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I have just a, like a zombies mode where it's just chickens with knives running at you. <laughs> no, it's just all, all, all the modes have, have the chickens that are just fucking coming at you. So it's not it's it's PVP and PVE. <laughs> why don't why, why they like cross oh, promotion oh, oh. and get some chocobos in there? Those are no, birds. you got to. You, you, gotta, you gotta do the, the, the T-Rex sized chicken and the chicken sized hundred chicken yes. sized T-Rexes. <laughs> Did you just see that like coming over a map just riding a T-Rex yeah, man? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, just fucking, yeah, you're in the middle of DE dust and then the giant chicken shows up and it, you're just like... CS2 Hunter Evolved, man. It'll be a brilliant yeah. game. Call C- us. C- CS Turok 2? Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Get a bow and arrow. Yeah. Uh, All right. Well, we 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 got, we got we're we're done with Steam stuff. Let's let's talk about regular uh, news. You got hey, a phone, I, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I do. Yeah. I call people all the time on my uh, he- phone. Hello. Ring, ring. Hello. You you're corded, man. Mine, uh, yeah, I have yeah, a hello. wireless one. Yeah, I, I, yeah. Well, I, listen, uh, my mobile bill is too high. I gotta I gotta plug that <laughs> in. Okay. Line. Now now I'm genuinely thinking. Here's a little bit of a subject. Do they make spirally like? Phone cord USB cables. They, Remember? they do. Oh they shit! Do. Yes. Huh. I kind of want I, one now. I, I I have been tempted a couple times of like, no, because they're a little they're a little too expensive for for the goof. But like also also yes. Yeah. The the, the super long like yeah, phone cord I, I, one. I'm, I'm yeah. visually flipping that fucker around right now. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Just playing with it if you're a certain age. I, I, I mean, hell, these these fucking headphones, right? The the Sony's. Right. Yeah. Why do we bring this up? Well, Microsoft is banning unofficial game controllers and accessories on the Xbox console. This comes to a surprise of probably two, possibly three people. Not not Linux related, not Linux related, but I want everybody to, you know, kind of keep your eyes out on the Ebays because we're going to be able to pick up huge controllers that are unofficial. I mean, pretty soon. I grabbed the inspired by this story. I was at the Walmart. I'm like, oh, there's an Xbox controller on clearance. Yoink. Gonna need one of those apparently if I might as well to. go ahead and grab it. Now I'm yeah. assuming uh this is for devices like the Zem, right? That's Yes. That yeah, I, I, I wasn't aware of something like that, but that shit is like straight up cheating. It maps all your keyboard and mouse shit to uh to a fake controller that you can plug into your console so you can get keyboard and mouse plus Look at this console thing. It, it looks like it's just, it's up to something yeah. doesn't it yeah that, that that is that is literally that, an that a box the right cheaty now. box yeah <laughs> the cheaty box <laughs> that is uh absolutely the cheaty box and uh, they have a um PlayStation version too but yeah no pass certification or don't use it on the Xbox and they say uh after you get the error that ends in 002 you get or triple O two uh, it uh you get two weeks of grace period after that point you get triple o three which just disables that controller altogether and yes it will cut down on the cheating but it will also cut down on the people who you know just get a cheap replacement controller because they can't necessarily afford the 50 or 60 dollars that a, a brand new, new official console. one yeah <laughs> or a new now, console xbox now two Xbox does actually sell controller components. I did check this. So you, if yours does break down, you can buy replacement parts straight from Microsoft. 
which is which is but yeah it, no th- yeah. Th- this is clearly what microsoft stems to profit from that yes. that's yeah <laughs> one of the things that um has completely eluded me leave us a comment uh on the video or wherever you may be if you know this because i know we we have at least one microsoft employee in the audience um i was trying Hi, to find out, <laughs> <laughs> trying to find out the process or you know much less the pricing because uh, you know uh what it would cost to get your device certified because that's what i was curious about i'm like are, are we talking like is this, is this like a buck 50 pay something like that doesn't exist like that information is just not publicly available on the internet so i, I don't know who to call up mine think about it this my brothers and sisters one of the many advantages of gaming on pc is we don't have to worry about nonsense like this that's why you're going to have your xbox your steam controllers your playstation controllers uh your sega fishing wand all sitting on your desk because pc don't care now the, again this could all change when pc2 is released but for now we got it really good and to pedro's point we can teach an entire generation of people that used controllers exist and they are available on the market and not everybody te- treats their controllers like they owe the money or to hammer shit in. I, 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 I would still give them a once over with some Lysol wipes just to, just oh, yeah. to be sure, no, but clean them when you get them, please. <laughs> Get, 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 get like one of those little scrapey tools and get like the, 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 the seams, get, get all the crap out of there. Yeah, you, or if you, you have be- like an old toothbrush or your toothbrush is at the point where you're just going to toss it out, don't throw it away. Or, or, Use or it not. and some alcohol. <laughs> and uh, Basically what we're saying is crack it open, check it for free drugs. No. Yeah. Well, uh, do, <laughs> do that, with your, used play- use that with your used PlayStation 2, man. It has the, the free drug compartment yeah. in the back. PlayStation 2, yeah. The Saturn well, also had yes. the expansion slot GameCube. in the back. Yep. Yeah, 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 the, the, yeah. The, 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 the yeah, yeah, the stashel, yeah, absolutely, the Um, that was, <laughs> I mean, we were children, we wouldn't know it now. Um, no. clutch your pixels, kids. A <laughs> naked Chun Li showed up and it scandalized well, yeah, the entire you, you, tournament. Yeah, so, uh, there, 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 there was, there was a, uh, there oh, was a Jordan <laughs> story now, all right. I, 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 go, go. I, 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 I was just going to make fun of Guile's butthole, but sure. Uh, they they could have gotten a better picture of a girl shot. Yeah, they could. I think that was the shocked Pikachu face that they were going for. Uh, so um, Capcom doesn't want anything in their game unless they're making money off of it. They did an entire presentation telling you that, and it was uh, wrapped in, um, we're worried about uh, people making mods for games because, you know, they're kind of like cheats and stuff like that. Unsupported mods are, and I quote, impossible to distinguish from cheat tools implementation wise. And you know what? They're not wrong. They're not wrong. But that's why you had, you know, a system a la Bethesda of all people. But that was a very good example for mod support for your game where people aren't hacking it in. The thing that's really shocking me about all this is how the hell are people still scandalized by human anatomy in 2023? Because I had to do a little bit of research. I can't pull the page up. There'll be a link in the show notes. <laughs> For, for uh, research purposes. Research yeah. purposes. I went back and yes, uh, nude mods existed for characters in games all the way back in 1997. And I'm sure 100% of our audience is like, I know exactly the game you're talking about. So Triangles. <laughs> thinking with triangles. And that was back in 1997. Also, that website, I was really glad because I went looking around because there's an entire website dedicated to like nude patches. Mm-hmm. Everybody's represented. Good on you. Yeah, mm-hmm. I, I, absolutely. People, people are going to be horny. And, you know, to, to Capcom's credit, if you are a tournament organizer at any level, you probably want to clear the machines that you're going to be using for, for that tournament just because, like, there, it may not be nudity mods. It might be wall hacks. It might be some other shit that compromises the integrity of the tournament. You want to make sure that everything is, is standardized. So if you're a TO, uh, make sure you don't accidentally expose people to Guile's butthole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no. <laughs> if you're a professional video game player, and you're hosting a tournament or you're participating in the tournament don't use nudie mods i but, think that should be fairly obvious so but so cap capcom has a, has another has another side to this argument is that one of the things that they do for sell, uh, monetizing street fighter is they do sell skins so it, yeah like 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 guile over here in in very <laughs> sexy bunny outfit um yeah so if you can mod in your own skins why would you give capcom money and especially it stops Capcom from releasing that nudie patch because, you know, they're going to do that eventually. <laughs> they, they, I, 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 would, I would fucking buy this. And then just like, listen, listen, I'm not the only one who thinks they made the Street Fighter characters a little too sexy in six. I'm not <laughs> like. 
Uh, and, well, and, and, yeah, and, no, the, the rule 34 for Street Fighter 6 was very, very quick on the draw. But <laughs> yeah, because the first trailer was fucking reused package. Yes. <laughs> But yeah, no, I don't like the idea of publishers being publishers about it. Uh, I it, I don't like them cracking down on mods any more than I do uh, when they introduce anti cheats uh, or DRM or on always online requirement for single player only games or um, in game microtransactions uh, only after release so that the reviews don't ding it uh, the score for that yeah no those are all things that i hate when publishers do and capcom to this point has been one of the best in that respect because they have stayed away from most of the shitty things that your eas and your ubisofts and your activision blizzards have done so what why it it it, it just seems like another excuse to remove even more Right, your from problems the players. like twofold here one you're dealing with the japanese <laughs> studio so you're dealing with some draconian ip thoughts like like th this is ours fuckos period yeah, yes you gave it, us some money it's not to, as bad as nintendo but yeah <laughs> yeah but you're still dealing with that mindset um which you know each to their own you vote with your wallet people like that's why i don't get too upset about this stuff but everybody who plays street fighter 6 or online competitive games they know not to use this shit when they're playing because you know what? They don't want to get their account banned that they've. We, we were talking about that in the trainer section, right? Right. Like, yeah. Like they're aware of this because they don't want to lose all of their progress for the hundreds of hours that they've put in, especially with fighting or, games to try to or, achieve or, whatever. Or, rank. Uh, uh, sp sponsorships as well. Like if you, if you, uh, if you lose your following on Twitch or whatever, that, that is like a lot of, uh, that is a lot of promotion and world word of mouth that you just mm -hmm. lose. Right. Yep. And if, yeah. So that, that, that can, that can really impact you if you're, if you're a regular tournament. Where we have just like mods in general, though, I just assume PCs or mod mods are going to, well, they're going to exist one period. Like it's not mm -hmm. up to developers or publishers. And if you try to double down on it, that, well, there's one way to get your game hacked up quicker. Um, I, I, <laughs> yeah. Uh, trying to crack that. That's the thing. Like anti-cheat and DRM only really impact the people who are trying to be legitimate in buying the game and playing by the rules. Everyone else is just going to crack the shit out of the game and play without paying it, and they're going to cheat online because they know how to work around the anti-cheats. Well, so, <laughs> let, let's 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 not even talk about the fact that some of the some PC games are just released in a frankly unplayable state, and mods are required of to make them yeah. functional. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, in in terms of like accessibility, in terms of just getting the thing to fucking work on your system, absolutely. Like, um, and th this this is going to be a this is going to be a thing as long as like quality keeps slipping, um, and as long as people are going to want to play the games on the systems that they currently have. And then you get things like as small as like reshade. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, like people just want to like adjust the colors and things. Make it make but that's it easier. DLL injection. It's cheats. No, I can't do that. <laughs> Give. Give mod makers a system to work with, and they will work with that system. It's as simple as that. But yeah, you know, a small, why... a small upstart like Capcom, maybe well, which just, a, just, a, just just a tiny company. Yeah, they got know, like three you know, people working around. Yeah. <laughs> which is why games like Neverwinter Nights stayed with as many people actively playing it online to this day. It's people because are still they playing had a tool set. Yeah, you, you you can't play Skyrim with. Have you tried playing vanilla Skyrim? That shit is terrible. <laughs> it's been a while since I played vanilla Skyrim, but yeah, it's like the games that have Dude, vanilla Skyrim like proper... is legit as hell. You go up to Winterhold and you're like, dun, 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 dun. <laughs> under you pressure, get, uh, like games with proper tool sets. And, and Macho Man shows up, yeah. Plug, yeah, a forever game for the most part. So don't. Capcom, don't be like Nintendo, please. Uh, listen, they're they're in the fuck around phase right now. <laughs> yes. <sighs> hey, Dragon's Dogma hey, Two is coming out, so I guess they're they're trying to prepare people for that. Well, it's not even just but, like mods, but I think about like there was a game this week. I heard somebody talking about it. It was a like a dwarf game where you could play like underground, above ground, like it had multiple levels to it, and it's only been out for like thirty seconds. And they made an announcement, like whatever, it wasn't selling and. It was a multiplayer online, and they're like, uh, yeah, we can't separate the server, so thanks for the money. Bye. It's all going to go down. Like, that's something I'd like to see a push on. I was like, can we, if you're going to have like multiplayer components like mods or anything like that, split it up from the game itself? 
Yeah. So like your or game pr- can pr- continue on. Server. Right. Or yeah, the, like the remove all of the proprietary bits that you can share and just open source whatever you can of the server and the no, connecting no, that, bits that, to the that, client. That, that that is easier said than done though. There there is some fucking spaghetti code in yes. a lot of game engines lo- that uh, usually a lot of middleware and a lot of stuff that they can't just make paste public. everything. The lawyers will figure out what's. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. yeah it, the, it's easier to ask for forgiveness than permission. <laughs> right. <Yeah. laughs> that's that, that's what you need. Legal teams. <laughs> My legal team of these three raccoons I found in this dumpster. <laughs> they said it was okay. <sighs> Who played Sin? I have played Sin. I've not played Sin. I, I have Sin. I couldn't finish Sin back in the day because uh, there was a massive bug, which I couldn't finish the game, and it, it was one of the games. That basically preluded the current present that we have when it comes to video games releasing in shitty states. But at the time, it was like 1998, 1997, somewhere around there, they had to release a post-launch 16 megabyte patch, which at the time was considerable because the internet wasn't at, you know, this level that it is right now. So, uh, yeah, a lot of people like me who didn't know any better just got the game and were unable to finish it because they got soft locked so <laughs> it is uh it it was a long time ago but currently uh chat realm member extraordinaire rohit has been uh well he's been dissatisfied he wrote a post on a co-host to explain why he's a, been a co-host feeling, yeah co-host uh he's been feeling a little left out on the cold um, with the Sin remaster that was released a couple of years ago, uh, it's currently available on GOG and I think Steam. Uh, but yeah, it is that particular, uh, remaster doesn't have a Linux version. So he really wanted, it's like, okay, let's put it back on Linux. SDL2, uh, they called it the Dominatrix engine. Very good, Rohit. Very good. <laughs> uh, and, um, yeah, using SDL2 and OpenAL, uh, it supports proper, um, like proper custom resolutions, and it will scale because that's one of the things with the uh, some of the Sin engine reimplementations were that yes, you could have like thirty eight forty by twenty one sixty, but the menu would still be scaled for six forty by four eighty, so it would be teeny tiny in the middle of the screen, and you couldn't read anything. So on top of that, uh, also got. Uh, on-screen keyboard for controller users. If you want to relive the old days with a controller, you heathen. Uh, <laughs> it is it is legitimately a really, really nice effort to bring the game natively back to Linux with proper working modern functionality. And yeah, you- this may very well be a good excuse for me to play through Sin again all the way to the end this time. No, but this, 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 is, this is really cool. Um... The, uh, the, the, the whole notion of like, oh yeah, the original game engine doesn't expect like more than 124 byte GL extension string because they never expected <laughs> GPUs to get any faster than this. So now, so now we have workarounds for it is, is very funny for me. Um, yeah, uh, it may or may not work with the uh, GOG version. It definitely works with the Steam version. Supposedly multiplayer will work as well. Uh, and you may need to re, uh, re-encode some videos uh, into uh, Vorbis or uh, for the original format. ones, the yeah. uh, the newer versions of the remaster, those uh, already have a proper format and will just yeah. work. So I mean, like one of the things I like here, man, you can play with a controller, but you can sit back on your couch and uh, get that retro on because you got that radial weapon wheel now. Which I'm like, all right, that's pretty dope. Into what Jordan was saying, yeah, with the, <laughs> the resolution, it's like okay, you know, you got to think this comes from a time that was 640 by 480. How much are you willing to pay for, though? Because I, I did take a look. At, oh, by the way, do not contact Night Dive for support. So, so con- wanna, contact Night yes. Dive for support, please. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Send, send us some emails. Uh, 100%. This community engine's not working properly. So we will have a link. <laughs> this uh, one guy made. When the show comes out, uh, we'll have a link to the project that you can go download and play with yourself. I looked on GOG. You can uh, sit on GOG for like nine bucks. So I don't know where it is on Steam right now, but probably somewhere around there. There, there's a sale coming up in two weeks anyway, so if you're really itching to right. get it, you might be able to grab it for cheap. Maybe we'll get together and uh, do some multi-sinning. Hmm, multi-sin. Sin v. Sin? Does it yes. have co-op? <laughs> or is it just 
deathmatch. I mean, like, Pedro, it sounds like it could. <laughs> it could, yes. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I, I mean, the co-op is everyone gang up on Pedro in deathmatch. Can we make Pedro And we a cooperate bird? To, to kill him. <laughs> I want Pedro to be a bird. <laughs> Well, they do have the pigeons, like the intro. I, I that's one of the things that's burned into my. I want to be super Kamigura, though. Is the, <laughs> is the like the intro, uh, where you have the pigeon chase cam, and then the pigeon goes, and you see like police cars getting exploded below the pigeon, and then the pigeon just gets gibbed. <laughs> I want. I it's want like the the intro for Sin was pretty good. I want. I want pigeons with guns now. Can can we can we get mod mod guns on on the pigeons' claws so that they fly? Now I'm like, just imagining like, flap, flap, pigeons flap, falling out of the sky at terminal velocity with the guns taped to them, smack bouncing off the. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and the guns go off because they hit the ground. They don't have the safety on. Them, so. You monster! <laughs> right, it's blam, right. thud, thud, blam, blam. It's a bird tornado or a hurricane. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. See, I want to see that remake of Alfred Hitchcock's The Birds. It trenched up guns. the gun pigeons from the bottom of the ocean floor. Yeah, they're like, yeah. Make, yeah, sure, why not? Let's roll with it. it. Yeah, it's like the Brazilian spider rain, except it's gun pigeons. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the only classic retro hipster blast from the past that we got. I guess PlayStation 2 is retro hipster now. Very oh, retro, God. very much <laughs> hipster. <laughs> Don't look at your hands, Jordan. The early noughties, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, oh man. Uh, so we talked about this, I believe it was last year, Open Goal, where they are working on open sourcing, uh, or they were working on an open source re-implementation of the Jack and Daxter engine for the platformers on PlayStation 2. Uh, they made, the last time we talked, we, we checked in with these guys, they were working really, really hard to decompile some weird-ass Lua dialect that was only supported in 2002. Uh, and now... You cannot play most of Jack and Daxter. Hey, they're using uh, DaVinci Resolve. I know that. Hey, uh, and now they're uh, they've uh, just announced uh, official support for Jack Two, which is an open beta. Um, they have a Steam Deck installer as well. If you want to install this through Decky, you can, which is pretty pretty dope. And yeah, it's more 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 game preservation, especially. I, I love it when they take console games and just like, no, we're just gonna get the shit running on PC, and now now it will just run forever. Look at it! Look at all those triangles, man. Yeah, Play- PlayStation Power, the emotion engine. Yeah, the wireframe jack. <laughs> wireframe jack cannot hurt you. Uh, I, I, I like how Daxter is just kind of dabbing there. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's very good. Like, I'm very much looking forward to the um, the Wipeout project, which we mentioned a couple of weeks ago. I I very much like the Wipeout games, and I want to be able to play the original Wipeout in 2097, like those first two. Uh, I want to play them. Hmm? Hang on. It's pronounced <laughs> Wipeout. <laughs> oh, you can play this at 144 now. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> now you encode the last Chevron so we can get to the other universe. Yes. Come on, yeah, do it. It is a, a proper uh, high refresh rate support. Yeah. It's, uh, th- those are all very good things to have. And uh, I, I very much, I'm in full support of. Like this level of preservation of just completely uh, reworking everything and making it run. Yeah, p- p- porting the resolutions. Engine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it, this thing has support for custom levels now, yep. which is real cool. Yeah, like yeah. Go check this I, out. I, I, I can't wait until dive. like the entire Jack trilogy is playable with that. That's, that's gonna be I've so never good. played that, but I'll, I'll definitely play that. Like the first time I, okay, not the first time. The first time I actually played Mario sixty four outside of like being over friends, I was like, "This is dumb. I have a PC." Uh, was when they decompiled and they got to play it on PC. So it's probably going to be the first time and go through it. And you can improve on things like this. Just move. as long, long as you do the right thing where you leave the old stuff in place. So yeah, the hipsters can be. Like, All right. <laughs> yes, but my purity. <laughs> well, these are the same people that will argue that, but they're like, how come I can't do uh, ultra wide support mm-hmm. with 120 after? <laughs> come on, man. Like, I have this ultra wide screen and Feature it doesn't flags. work properly. Mm-hmm. Uh, you wanted purity. There you go. 640 by 480, bitch. I mean, Man, I, I, so th- th- that reminds <laughs> me of like Dark- Darkest Dungeon did that, where like all the early access options are toggleable. So if you want to go back to like a previous version, because you like the, the way the body's handled, like that, I love that shit. Where it's just I, like, I yeah. fully support that, Ben. It's just like, leave it. it doesn't cost you anything to live in there. At least make the older builds of your game available, like Hollow Knight mm-hmm. does. Yeah. Mm-hmm. that That's a really good way of handling. It's like, okay. We have a really big change that we really like, we really want to do. Give people the option to go back. Valve with CS2, they said, okay, 
you want to play CSGO, they're still there. CSGO fuck not going to be supported on, anymore. On your own servers, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's I not going to be supported anymore, but it's there. Mm. No, the Valve, listen, I get, you got to give Valve credit for playing that exactly right, because they're like, here's the new thing everyone's going to be playing. By the way, you can't get upset, but here's the old thing that no one's playing anymore. Hell, the community servers are still there. So <laughs> even even with artifact, they were just like, you know what? All the cards are free. Fuck it. No, you're not buying them. Take them. Mm-hmm. Which you know, you know, we're gonna go roll most around. Most other companies our money would take pit. their fucking Have ball fun. and would go yeah. home. It was yeah. like, yeah, it was the solid. Uh, yeah, this failed. So here you go. You have everything. Oh uh, <laughs> yes, yeah, as Val, uh, Val was quoted as saying, "Well, last time we tried to make a game, <laughs> except for Half Life Three VR." <sighs> yeah. <laughs> Just with the massive bait at the end, it's like, all right, so is Half Life Three going to be VR only, like Alex? <laughs> you want to? You want? You want to turn? Half Life Three isn't going to exist. It, it's like fucking. It's Slash, man. It's an urban legend. You, you, what, uh, slash only appears if you believe it. I just wanted Episode Three. I just wanted that particular mm-hmm. storyline to be done. Half Life okay. Two, Episode Zero. <laughs> Half Life Two, Episode One Point Five. We're just going backwards. I mean, it was like four. We're just not going to mention it ever. (laughs) No, 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 no. Barney is the new main character of Half-Life and we're just splitting. We're just forking the narrative now. Dude, if you were walking down an alley and you saw Barney come out with a crowbar, you'd go the other way. Yeah, yeah. Listen, I played Blue Shift. I know how I know how this shit goes. Like head crabs, dinosaurs, demons. Like I'm going to size that shit up in my head. Barney crowbar. Nope. Other way. Yeah. Barney was like the only regular dude who made it out of Black Mesa, right? Like. Gordon Freeman has like some fucking space destiny in the Hev suit. Barney Barney's, Calhoun Barney's is just, that some, type of just dude. some dude. Yeah. Bar- Barney's that type of friend that you know have some bodies buried in the basement, but you're okay with it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Cause, as cause, long cause as you, uh, he's still cool he, with you, yeah. you, you don't mind the bodies. Because yeah, no, c- c- you know that if, he, if you ask him, he will add bodies in the basement for you. He's mm-hmm. the type of friend that'll help you move. The bodies in the basement. <laughs> <laughs> If you'd like to tell us how you help other people move bodies in the basement, head over to LinuxTeamGuest.com. Get out of my fridge. And into your basement. Into my car. We have a contact form. Um, fill it out. Leave a comment, a question, thought, hence. You might read it on the show. We might not. Same goes for YouTube comments, Odyssey comments, Patreon comments, you name it, where you can type in some text. Don't, like, piss into the wind in our Discord channel or, like, in live chat because, like, that scrolls by and it's never to be seen again so don't don't try and sell us viewers either please oh come on <laughs> or, or cnc yeah, manufacturing d- equipment don't be a bot <laughs> how about valves you could yeah you Would can you sell like us some valves, valves? <laughs> some, yeah some self-stealing some stem bolts or send us the email that looks like it came from yourself but then you look at the header message and you find the actual uh, original address so you send an email back going does that ever work yeah <laughs> You know, I had that And then it experience. shows up in your inbox and you're like, oh no, I'm just <laughs> fucking crazy. I, I wish I remember the name. Some guy, because we get these emails like, hey, we can host your podcast for whatever. And I wrote, wrote back to them like, are you cheaper than us three? And he's like, nah, homie, I'm not. Uh, but all right, that's cool. You Va- keep Val- doing- value add. Yeah. <laughs> we got one little bit of a uh, hate mail, which I'm glad Pedro took because yeah. I thought he might it's about tracing rays. Yeah, this is from uh, Jorge, uh, George, and he says, I'm wondering what the current state of ray tracing with AMD GPUs on Linux. Is it working with the open source Vulkan drivers? I have a 6800, but what about the 7000 series? I tried Metro Exodus and it crashed, frown to face. Yeah, I don't know about the 7000 series, but uh, from what uh, Strider... Oh, I'm, I'm going to try soon. Matthew Commandant uh, was trying on Discord when he first got the 7800. It supposedly works, yes. Uh, I can say that on the 6700 XT, it does work. You need to pass the launch codes. Uh, red V, it's red V underscore perf test. It'll be in the show notes. Uh, equals RT and VKD3D underscore config equals DXR. Uh, if you want to put that on Steam, don't forget the percentage command percentage at the end. It is, yeah, the VKD3D is only for the Proton games. If you have a native game that does um, ray tracing, where did you find that unicorn? Uh, you only need the rad v perf test it's supposedly in the newer versions of mesa it's already supposedly enabled by default so you don't specifically need to pass that 
but you still need the uh, VKD 3D one for Proton because Windows games don't know what um, you, you, Linux you drivers. Tell, <laughs> yeah, you gotta yeah. tell Proton what to lie to the game that it's, yeah. that, that it's carded is. Yeah. yeah, because Windows games don't know what features are available in the Linux drivers, especially the open source drivers. So, yeah, it is. You have to pass that environment variable. Here's a question for you. Um, does the uh, Steam Deck uh, APU have ray tracing? It can uh, do it. it. Yeah, uh, it can do it. <laughs> It's, they, they, uh, they, they, the they performance did show takes a big of a hit. Yes. They, yeah, they, um, they showed it off with Doom. Doom, Doom or Doom Eternal? Mm -hmm. I don't, uh, yeah, yeah, I think it was Doom Eternal. Uh, uh, some people uh, had mild success getting the Cyberpunk, um, like the oh, built-in yeah. benchmark to run. Make, make with, it run uh, worse on the Steam. <laughs> <laughs> with ray tracing enabled, and they were getting like single digits, but hey, it was working and it was rendering properly. But yeah, it does, it, it can do it. It's just not a very good idea. The biggest oh. thing I'm going to have to take away from this is when you, you when we're talking about all the moon glyphs that you have to enter, like all the Rad V stuff, your VKD 3D config, or your no e sync valve. It is high time that we get command option command blocks. My code yeah, like blocks, little, 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 but for little all toggles, the, little ticky box. <laughs> I, I just want a little drop down that's got all the bullshit that I normally have to run. Just go click, 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 done. Yeah, and it, it auto fills command at the end of it. Yeah, I, just the most common ones, man. Like, no yeah, easy. Yeah, because, like, like, Valve is the one who's pushing a lot of these features anyway, so, like, they, mm -hmm. they, know, what, they know what the option needs to be. So, like, mm -hmm. yeah. NV API type stuff, you know, or yeah. Mango HUD. I've been bugging them for well, yeah, two yeah, years well, the, the Mango HUD button. The, the Mango HUD shit is integrated so beautifully in the Steam Deck, and it's like, well, why, why is this just not in overlay proper? Like, Yeah, do, do, have it built into Steam or just, search your uh, main OS to see is it installed system wide okay cool mm -hmm. just give me a tick box enable mango HUD that'd be really nice it'd be dope <laughs> it'd be dope and plus think about it it'd be a lot easier for these people on Steam Decks with the touch interface if you just had a nice little menu popped up and be like I want to I need this option this option this option and a side of fries yeah having to punch in launch options in on the virtual keyboard like, it's, it's, not, it's, it, it's not awful but yeah. <laughs> yeah that, well, thanks for <laughs> using the McDonald's self checkout. You want to tip us? But even that, Jordan, what you bring up, you don't have to worry about trying to copy and paste shit or anything. It's just you know, like, the, the, the dealing with the on screen keyboard and whatnot. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, boom, just have a nice little block of like, okay, I need these. Because if you're there, you know what you're doing. Just make it easier for the people that want to come in. I'm like, all right, I, I, see this person emailed us and they're like, how do I do this? And now they're going to be like, wait, yeah. why, where do I even enter that? You know, they're thinking, they don't know. Well, that the, and and this this is where like tools like STL come in, right? Because like they're they're providing that functionality when Valve isn't. Mm. Build the shit in the damn coin. <laughs> Just yeah, sh no ship STL with it, like Steam Tinker Tool. Just that that in it, right? Like, Seriously, buy the Steam Tinker Tool uh, developers. Just pay them to keep doing that because they, they the literally did stuff, it with Mango Hut. <laughs> yeah, the, the amount of stuff that they've done. Um, like we were talking about mods earlier. Installing Vortex on Linux with STL is piss easy, and it just works. So, yeah, the, having that level of integration with your product, it's probably a good idea to just scoop the uh, scoop up those devs and go. Just keep make sure all of this advanced stuff has a switch <laughs> in it if it detects Windows, because we don't want them people with the ROG ally to be able to use it. <laughs> Unless they've installed Linux on it. No, no, no. I want this hardware level <laughs> check. Just teach my lesson. Bro, yeah, right, right, ring zero. It's like, yeah, you know what? We're, we're, we're going to take the fucking anti-cheat lesson. We're going to apply it against the regular users. You want ring zero? We got your ring zero right here. Uh, you can kiss my ring zero. You, you can just see Valve be like, listen, you said we could be evil once. We're taking this one. Get it. All right. This is our freebie. Deal with it. Ladies and gentlemen. On that bombshell. Um, hey, I do want to thank everybody supporting the show. If you get a chance, if you want to come hop in our Discord and do all the other cool stuff, bonus sodas that we throw your way, patreon.com forward slash Linux Gamecast, but head over to linuxgamecast.com, hit our support button. We got a bunch of different ways you can help us out. Just share the show, talk to some people. We're streaming to a bunch of different places this week, trying something a little bit new. I want to thank uh, Gametron and Basil for giving us some Twitch re subs. And uh, yeah, come check out what we do on Tuesdays. Fridays and Thursdays, a bunch of streams. All of our schedule information is available on Twitch. But that's going to do it for this week's Linux Gamecast. If you want to get in touch with me, I'm on Zitter, at Vinstone. I'm on our Mastodon, just at Vin. 
I'm in our IRC, I'm in our Discord, I'm, you know, spitting mad fire and the occasional rhymes. Yeah, I'm, I have straight out of French Canada, I've been bitten by a mime, and if you want to witness my transformation into a were mime, follow me on Mastodon at Frojo at Mastodon or at the Burning Fool on X, Twitter, Shitter, whatever the fuck you're calling it these days. I don't know. It's terrible. And you can find me pondering the uh, uh, meaning of the word fuck, because it's been behind me all this time and I only just noticed. <laughs> Fuckity fuck. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you can find that uh, happening all the time, absolutely not, on uh, Mastodon. It's unaccounted for with the actual number four at mastathleticsgamecast.com. Uh, oh, no. Onlyfans.com slash Pedro Mateus. Loompa, 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 fuck. Fuck. Yeah. Yeah. That was incredible. Fuck a luck a fuckity duck. Yeah, it's about right. Yeah, it tracks. Yeah. <laughs> not not incorrect. We can work that well, into we our gotta, fanfic. We gotta thank our advisors, Omega Star Theron. We gotta thank our executive producers, Barb Ram, Scott Michaud, Tom McCass, Mike G, Drummer, Tomas, Shaquem, David, E. Shep, and Ian, and our little Nookie fans, Super Nestote, Empty, Glorious, Eggy, and Nubin. With the sea monsters, Renault Rider X, Machina, Trudgy, Vertinuda, Justin, Nubin, Darkwing, System, T, Dunzing, Joe, Ogie, Win, and Kyrillo. The Death Notes, Nova, Basil, Chat, Romeo, Rene, Leonardo, to Chris, I'm gonna go ahead and get started on these sharings while Pedro's Zimmer doing Hank. that. Order Door Geek, Alan, <laughs> Mr. Lerb, Jonas, Stephen B, Zeno, B, Daniel, Alex, I'm gonna get Monica, Jean-Luc, Sacred Egg, Piper, Aromatic Dev, I missed a few. There Fumu. are those who call him Tim. <laughs> Fine, upstanding <laughs> Gadibles, Carl, Mike, Arthur, and Lennox, New World, is Noctilus, John Eshop, Gabitron, you know, DS and Joe, Aromatic Dev, and Kyjo Rye. You're all truly wonderful. Jordan, what did we learn this what? week? Um, don't eat lettuce. Donate lettuce. You don't want don't to eat lettuce. It. Don't oh. eat <laughs> lettuce. Don't don't put lettuce in your mouth and chew. You got injected in your veins. There's a mod for that. <laughs> you know, I, I think I'm just gonna go back to donating lettuce. That sounds like a much better Dead idea. Fire, <laughs> no, keep all your lettuce. Hoard it. Five dudes.